Okay, so um, seated uh, dumbbell press. So we've got uh, a couple of options here. If you've only got a bench like this, then obviously you're trying to just create as much tension sat back into the bench uh, with your feet and with your bum. Now, if you've got a back support, we're gonna try and fix the hips, the back of the bum, the lower back into the, uh, the joint of the bench so that we're nice and supported to control that press. So as we start the movement, the wrists are gonna stay straight. Elbows are gonna be just lower than uh, shoulders. Now, everybody's gonna be different here, but the goal is to try and keep active uh, range. By that, I mean you're trying to keep as much tension through the shoulders throughout the whole movement. So as we press up, this is gonna be the eccentric bit, so the, the, the higher number. As we lower down, trying to keep that jaw nice and relaxed with the wrist straight, load, 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 until you start to feel that drop off in weight. Now, if you lose it completely, you've gone too far. So try and keep tension throughout the whole range. So as we drop down to the bottom, we've still got tension, the shoulders are lengthening, and then we're gonna press back up to shorten and then control back down again. Rib cage is gonna stay open, the jaw is gonna stay relaxed, and again, like I said, the wrist is gonna stay straight, but we're trying to get a nice straight line, a nice straight pathway as we're pressing. Elbows aren't gonna be all the way back, we're gonna try and bring the elbows in slightly. Uh, and also just to add, the wrists aren't gonna come in, we're gonna try and keep them nice and open so we've got more or less a right angle as we're pressing. 